Good morning, everybody. So today I overslept. <laughs> I just got done half ass straightening my hair. Um, and I have about 10 minutes to put my face on. So we're just gonna go with something quick and easy. I am going to use the, where is it at? Where is my foundation? That's not good. Oh, here it is. So I'm just using foundation today. I'm not gonna go all out with bronzer and everything like that. Just gonna see how this works out. Sleeping felt so much better than actually getting up and taking care of myself. This is, you know, kind of like the last video. It is super hard to like, for me to be like, I'm going to prioritize myself. It, it's just difficult. I even watched some YouTube videos last night of, you know, people getting ready people prioritizing self-care. And still this morning I was like, no, this is not happening. I did have time to make me a cup of coffee though, which is always important. So today's goal is to find little opportunities today to just take a moment to enjoy something. Whether that be a cup of hot tea, which is what I'm thinking it probably will be, or I don't know, go for a walk and really enjoy that time. That That's the goal for today. I'm just going to squirt some on the sponge. I had an excellent long weekend with my family. I took, oh, I slept a lot, which is, you would think, oh, it's so good, you know, to sleep, but there, there comes a point for me when I'm getting too much sleep. I use sleep as an escape to not deal with anything around me. So instead of coming in here and like cleaning up the kitchen from all the chickens and putting away the dishes and all the things that I could have been doing, I was like, I'm just gonna ignore that all and sleep. <clears throat> but I did have a good time visiting my mother this weekend. We were over at her house a lot. And we did get a few things accomplished. Me and my fiance, we got, we have a wedding coming up, not ours, but his sister's. And we got a few things for her wedding and a few things for my wedding this weekend. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you what all we've hauled <clears throat> and like kind of the setup that we're going to do. I'm very excited about it. I am going to put just a little bit of concealer under my eyes because I feel like I need it this morning. but I'm not like highlighting with it like down my nose and on my chin and on my forehead and stuff like that. I'm just throwing on a little bit of makeup today because now we have about six minutes. To be ready. So, you know, the struggles of bipolar, which I have a hard time believing that I'm bipolar, which maybe sometime when I have more time, we can go into more like in-depth detail about what led me to becoming bipolar, like getting that diagnosis. I was honestly shocked that I didn't have schizophrenia because that's how bad the paranoia was. But that's another story for another time. But so that's one thing 
with dealing with bipolar is I always want to get off my medicine. I don't want to take it because there are side effects to my bipolar medicine. Number one, it makes me gain weight. It makes me hungry. It makes me eat a lot. I don't like that. It makes willpower even more difficult and then I'm not focused. I can't stay focused on a task. Um, it's just difficult, you guys. I think I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Pillow Talk blush. It's not very, it's very subtle. And I've got about four minutes left. This is a quick quickie today. But, so it's not all, I would like to be to, at a spot in my life where I could manage my bipolar without medication. And that is extremely difficult. I, I struggle with stuff while I'm on medication. Um, but it's just, it's just very difficult, but I know, I think it's possible. So, I'm in no rush to get off of my medicine now. I was in a rush to get off of it um, a few months ago until I started having some panic attacks and stuff like that. But and so now I'm not in any hurry to get off of it, but Especially because I have a lot of, like, life changes coming up. So I have, you know, the wedding and moving and then there's the, what am I going to do with my, my son? Because he's not going to leave his school. I don't want him to leave his school. I'm going in with a little bit of Luminoso. And maybe... So there's just, there's just challenges coming up in my life and I don't think now is a good time to be trying to focus on getting off my medicine. I know that like by the time I am 40, I, that is a goal of mine to be off of my medicine. I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. I love this stuff so much. It is so good. I'm not doing a whole lot today because I don't have a lot of time. I think that's where we're going to call it good. I've got to, I'll do like my brows and my mascara in the car today. I don't have a lot of time um, because it just felt way too good to stay in bed this morning. That's just how it is most mornings. I'm doing good to have my hair straightened and makeup on in the first place. So I'm going to set my face with this e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. And then I'm going to go blow dry it. And then we're going to head to work. And we'll record a little bit while I'm on my way to work. I uh, love you all. We'll see you in the next It just cost me $50 to fill up my tank. It's absolutely ridiculous how much like food and everything is going up. It's just crazy. I'm so glad I have so much makeup like stockpiled to where I don't have to buy any right now because times are getting tough, you guys. Like, man, I am telling you, I think on January 1st of next year, I'm going to go on like a budgeting, like that'll be my New Year's resolution to like really rein in my budget. I mean, I'm not too focused on it right now because we have the wedding coming up and then Christmas will be right after that. So I'm kind of like live and let live right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, starting next year, I think that's going to be something that's high on my priority list. Let me know if you guys would be interested in watching something like that, like budget with me or something something along those lines so I'm just on my way to work now um I am not running late calling it a win um so I'm just taking my time driving to work I'm gonna get off here listen to some um music 
and just have a good time before I have to clock into that wretched workplace. <laughs> we'll see you in the next clip. Ready? It's a midday check-in, so it's super bright. I can't see very well, but it is noon and I'm just now getting to go for a 15 minute walk. And it's been a busy day at work. We're shorthanded, we have people out sick and it's just been kind of crazy. But I, this is the makeup look. I still haven't put on mascara. Um, and this is what I am working with for today. I'm not gonna have time to put on mascara and put my eyebrows on and all that jazz. I'm barely getting enough time to take my 15 minute walk that I'm halfway through. And it's just gonna be a busy day. I'm gonna roll with it. It's keeping my mind busy, so that's a good thing. And we'll check in with you later today. Hi everybody, so it's like a afternoon, late afternoon check-in. It's 4.30 right now, and I'm just now getting on a second break. I'm not going for a walk. But what I am doing is having a nice glass of tea. Taking some time just to breathe and drink my tea outside while it is so nice. And then I'll be back inside on the grind again. Um, it's been crazy today because we've had so many people out sick and we're short staffed anyway, so. I'm just taking a few minutes to just woosah and enjoy some hot tea. <laughs> See you in the next clip. Well, everybody, I finally had time to put on my eyebrows and my lashes. I mean, mascara and brow gel by the end of the day. <laughs> it was such a busy day. I think it was really good for me because I didn't have time to like dwell on any depression or anxiety which usually if I'm busier my anxiety kind of flares up but that didn't happen today so I would say overall I had a great day I did take time to take a walk today for myself and I took time to just sit outside and enjoy a hot cup of tea even though it's 95 degrees outside it was it was nice um I felt put together today because I you know did something with my hair and I put a little bit of makeup on as you guys saw and it just made me feel better about myself um so all I can say you know is if you're going through a lot of like anxiety depression if you have bipolar disorder um and you deal with a lot of mood swings you know taking time for yourself in some way even if you can't do it exactly how you had planned like, I had planned on waking up early and, like, taking a nice long shower and doing my coffee on the porch and watching the sun come up. And I, that didn't happen. So, even if it doesn't happen exactly how you wanted it to happen or how you had planned for it to happen, as long as you take 15 minutes, 5 minutes, a few times during the day to just connect with yourself, um... You know, I call it my holy girl walk that I do for my 15 minutes. Um, most people call it a hot girl walk, but I call it my holy girl walk because it's time that I'm reflecting on things that I have done during the day, things that I will happen during the day, time for prayer, time for praising God, um, and just, you know, submersing myself into, you know, just one foot in front of the other, you know, Lord guide my way for the rest of today and, you know, taking that time to just talk to the Lord and that calms me down personally. So whatever you need to do to set the tone for your day, it doesn't have to be first thing in the morning. You can have a hectic, crazy morning and find a way to take five minutes and just ground yourself and meditate if you need to or pray or whatever you need to do to refocus your life 
um, do it a couple times a day. It's important. And, and like I said, it is hard. It's hard to sit there and be like, I'm going to carve this time out for me because I need it. Um, it's difficult to do that. Um, but imagine, imagine you're doing it for your friend. Like treat yourself like you would want your friend to treat herself. I feel like that's an easy way to think about it. So I hope everybody is having a blessed day. I'm glad y'all are coming with me on my mental journey to get everything squared off and right and deal with, you know, any bipolar bouts that I have. Um, hopefully my journey is helping somebody out there. That's my goal. Um, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. I'm really happy with how my makeup turned out. The blush still stayed on pretty well. Um, I didn't go crazy overboard with the highlighter. Um, so I, I'm just pleased with how my makeup turned out today. And we'll give it another try tomorrow. And hopefully I'll wake up early in the morning tomorrow. But if not, I'll still take time for myself. Because I deserve it. And you deserve it too. Have a blessed day. Bye.